Let us explore more about object and image. As we know, object is the individual choice that you choose to be processed. And once we done process, we're going to give you back as a result. Let us see a more realistic example where we have fx is equal to 2x plus 5. So we're going to receive x as the unknown. Why is it unknown? Because we don't know your selections until you tell us until you make up your mind. But once you make up your mind, we're going to process your request according to the processing here. So this equation tells us that we're going to times two of whatever number that you give it to us. After that, we plus five on top of it. So let's say you choose seven as your lucky number. So we're going to do two times seven first and then plus five, we will get 19. Once we get the result, we're going to give you back as the output. So this is how function works. So let's say in your mind, you tell me 10. So once I know 10 is your input, I'm going to erase the unknown. It's no longer unknown. I knew your choices. So two times 10 is 20. So 20 plus five is 25. Once I done process, I give it as an output, give it back to you and tell you, hey, this is the result. So 25 is our result. So this is how we write down. We say that, hey, f is the functions. When it take in x, this is the result, which is 25. So some of the people asking me like, hey, is it possible for us to put unknown as the input? Yes, of course. You can put anything inside. So let's say if I put B, so no longer or an unknown, be new. Your choices is B. So two times B plus five will be our final output. But what if now you ask me that, is it possible to put an expression inside? Hmm. Yes, it's possible. So if we put 10 plus B, let's take it in and we process for you. No worry. So two times, 10 plus B plus five. Remember how to expand? Yes, we just times it, everybody. It's just like you visit your Akong and Amma inside the house. So two times 10, 20. Two times B, two B, and plus five. So we combine the like terms, number go with number, alphabet go with alphabet. We have two B plus 25 is the final output. So what if now you're going to give me a functions going to input? Is it possible? What? A function inside a functions? Yes, it's possible. So I know you're going to give me a functions. So all of the x now become a functions. So what happened is two times gx, two gx plus five. And this is what we're going to give you back. So as a result, two gx plus five. So literally, it means that whatever you give it to the machine, the machine will try to accept and process for you. Okay, so no worry. So let us test you one more time again with the quiz. So this time, we're going to give an easy one where we have a function of fx is equivalent to 2x. And I ask you that what happened, what is the value of the f when we input 3 as our choices? of our input. So what happened here is, we already know that you choose three. So it's no longer an unknown. So how do we process it? We two times three. So we have six as our answer. Next, how about if you ask me that what is the value of f when the input is five x? So since we know that your choices is five x, we're going to process it by times two. 2 times 5x is 10x, right? So this is how we do. Next, what if now I give you something is more mind twisting? Find x when I give you the answer already. So whenever this happened, we're going to use the method of call comparing. Whenever they give you answer, we're going to compare because why? We cannot trust other people answer, right? Just like your friend when give when he or she give you answer in the exam, hmm, you still like, should I trust or not? Ah? Maybe I try to do first and compare, right? 
Same thing here. So how do we do? We know fx is equal to 20. But fx is also equal to 2x. Since both of these are the same thing, can see that fx and fx. So we can say that 20 is eventually same as 2x. So how do we solve this one? Yeah, this one is just a linear equation. So x is equal to, when you're together as a times, go there become dy. So x is equal to 10. So the next question, let us look. How about now they ask you to find x when fx map onto itself? So this is something that we haven't learned until now. What do they mean by maps onto itself? It means like, if you choose x as your choice, you will give, give, I will give you back whatever your choice as a result. So if you feel confused, just think of like this. When I put in 1, they give me 1. When I put in 2, they give me 2. When I put in B, they give me B. This is what they mean by maps onto itself. It's like whatever that you give it to the machine, they reject and give it back to you. Just like if you go to a shopping mall, you want to pay your parking ticket, you give 10 ringgit, but the 10 ringgit is not so straight, not so nice, it will pop it back to you and give you back the 10 ringgit. Same thing here, I put in the X, but the result is also X. But we know, what is our FX? It's 2X. So I write down 2X is equal to X. So 2X minus X is equal to 0. So X is equal to 0. So that will be the our answer. So I know that you will not so familiar with this one. Let us try to recap again. What do we mean by function that map onto itself? Function that map onto itself means like, can you see that? Whatever the input will be same as our output. No matter what you choose, it's the same. It will just give you back whatever that you fit into the machines. So let us try. Find x when fx is equal to 2x plus 2 map onto itself. So we know when I say map on the itself, when I put in x, they give me back x. But what is fx? Do we know? Yes, we know. Our fx is just nothing but 2x plus 2 is equivalent to x. And I know you're very good in solving the linear algebra. So plus 2, go to the right hand side, become minus 2. And of course, the x is going to the left hand side, minus x. So 2x minus x is x, x is equivalent to negative 2, and this is the solution where it will map into itself. If you don't, if you don't trust me, let us try it out. When x is equal to negative 2, so when x is equal to negative 2, we try to put in negative 2 into the machine, try to write a process, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, plus 2, you will get back negative 2, can you see that? Whatever that you put it in, you will have the result is the same answer, same value. So this is how you will see the functions where they say map onto itself. Hey, if you have any questions or would like to see any kind of video, do leave your comments below and let me know. If you want to support us so that we could make more video like this, the simplest way is just by sharing the video with your friends. Click the like buttons and consider subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.